Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everyone is well, or at least better than I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, for those of you who watched the um, weekly top and bottom of the deck that was posted on late Friday, early Saturday, I'm on a new medication to help me quit smoking, and um, it's having some weird side effects, so right now I'm just powering through and trying to live my best life, <laughs> but we're doing okay. And I know that the um, the upside is going to be a lot better than the downside, and this is only temporary, so just bear with me, okay? So, all right, anywho, I know we are well into November and almost to December now, and you guys haven't gotten your November read yet, so I'm going to be working my little tail off from now until the end of the day on Thanksgiving Day for... Thanksgiving Day in the United States will be next Thursday. Oh my God, if I can make words work. This is another one of the side effects, by the way. I'm going to be working my butt off between now and the end of the day next Thursday to get all the readings up for November and December. Just bear with me. So, Scorpio. My neighbors of the Zodiac. My Venus. It is still your season. So... You will receive your readings first for the month of November. So here we go. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, okay, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It is your free will to do that. If you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better, check your moon rising or Venus sign reading. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. So time being fluid, this can be resonating. To, yeah, this can be playing out right now. It can have played out over the last couple of weeks. It can play out the next couple of weeks. It doesn't even have to happen in November. I have no control over what energies are given to me by the universe. So... <laughs> Time is fluid. It is a man-made construct. Just ask Neon. Hit her up with an email. You guys can talk about time and space all you want. Her and I actually have a lot of conversations about that. Energy is fluid. And it can also be vice versa. So it might even play out from the perspective of the other person in the scenario. Or the cross-watcher. <laughs> Cross-watchers are always welcome here. Just have a seat. And strap in because it might be a bumpy ride, you know? That's all part of the journey, right? Okay. Also, another friendly reminder, this channel is for 18 and older only. If you are under the age of 18, if you have stumbled upon this video, I'm going to ask that you please click out. Hit me up on your 18th birthday. I'll throw down your cards, okay? All right. <sighs> Scorpio, why are you here? The fool. Oh, the fool. Starting something new. Getting ready to take a leap. Trusting the universe, maybe? I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. You feel about the person you're dealing with. The Four of Pentacles, you can feel like they're holding back. You gotta sneeze. Sorry, I'm just hoping this doesn't turn into one of my sneezing fits. You could feel like they're holding back. Possibly some emotions. Maybe they're being a cheap skater, a little miserly. I mean, take it out if it resonates. It's a multiple meaning card. They usually are. What do you think of them? Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm. You f you think they could have some like self-esteem issues? <laughs> Maybe they're a little bit needy at times. Mm. Okay. What do you want from them? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Huh. Let me throw a clarifier on that before I speak on it. Let's get their stuff. All right. How do they feel about you? Page of Cups. Oh, wow. They got a cup for you. <laughs> Ten 
definitely some feelings there. Maybe they've told you. What do they think of you? Nine of Pentacles. They see you as a very independent person. They think you got your crap together. Possibly sees the potential for abundance there. Hmm. Maybe they kind of feel like that you don't necessarily need what they have to offer. Hmm. Ah, uh, I'm getting it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. What do they want from you? Well, Scorpio, they want to get this going. I don't think you do, though. I mean, maybe. Maybe you're questioning right now. Well, let's get the clarifier on it. I think you're ready to walk the path, but the path is before you, and that's what you need to decide, maybe. Okay. They definitely got a cup and a candle for you. I mean, if you guys are in any kind of separation, they definitely want a new start. I'm questioning this Eight of Pentacles reversed, though. Huh. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for Scorpio, please, November 2020. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 2020. Ten of Pentacles reversed. You might be getting ready to take that leap because things aren't so abundant right now. You're not where you want to be. And you're wondering if this new path might take you where you want to be. Okay. Hmm. All right. Why is the State of Pentacles reversed here? We're just going to get right to it. It's the only card I'm really questioning right now. And if I'm not going to question the meaning behind a card, I'm probably not going to clarify it this time around, just because I want this to be as short and sweet and to the point as possible. I am available for personal readings. I'm not as backlogged. I think I have one to do. But they're still going to spam folder for some reason, so I don't know why. I need to start checking that more often. Ten of Swords Reverse. What what do you want from them? Eight of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Swords reversed. There's something that hasn't come to an end. One of you can't put energy into this right now. Because something hasn't come to an end. Hmm. Could be you, Scorpio. It could be the other person. One more. I need one more, please. Whoa. Okay, I'll take two. Why not? And of course, it hits the floor. We don't need to see that. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles reversed, Justice reversed. Shush kebabs. I don't like that at all. Brings us back to the neediness and the clinginess. Scorpio, you may want them to just kind of slow their roll a little bit and just kind of back off because either you or they are dealing with something that hasn't come to an end yet. And 
the feelings might not be mutual. The things just aren't even yet. I think whoever you're dealing with may have tried to put too much energy into this because they're kind of clingy and needy. And you're just like, well, wait a minute. I, I need you to back off. I'm still processing. And now I got to clarify a couple of more cards. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Nine of Cups. One more. Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Could be a water sign. Could be a little bit of both. You definitely see them as a person that wants what they want with this Queen of Wands. And they want it now. Fast moving. For, for, fast moving. Um, Nine of Cups. Happy person. Positive. Possibly always trying to fill your cups. But don't get this Four of Pentacles. Because if they're needy and clingy, I don't think they're holding stuff back. So... Could mean slightly selfish. <laughs> I mean, I. King of Cups. Yes. There's definitely emotion there. There's definitely passion there. You could feel like maybe they're trying to hold on to you. Because there's deep emotion and there's passion. They want to fill your cups. Obviously. I got a page of cups up here on their side. So, why the page of cups? One card. One card for the page of cups. For how the other person feels about Scorpio. One card. One card. Hi. Five of cups. Yeah. There's sadness there. I think you had to tell them, well, slow your roll. And it's brought about sadness. If you haven't had the conversation, maybe they're feeling it. There's definitely some hurt feelings here and some spilt cups but they still hold they hold a cup for you for sure why the nine of pentacles one card They think of you, you are independent, you got it going on. They want this to grow. Oh my gosh, they want you to be the one. They see it with you. They see potential for family, possibly for some of you. Mm. White Ace Wands, one card, one card. Knight of Cups reversed the full reversed. What? Hmm. One more. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords reversed. <sighs> A 
Some of you are already in separation. Knight of Swords reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. I'm hearing and I'm sensing um, either jump off the cliff or walk away from it. They want the start, but with this Eight of Wands, full reversed, two Knights reversed, on with it or walk away from the cliff. Possibly a fire sign you're dealing with. Of course, I got a little bit of air, a little bit of water. I got a little bit of everybody. But, uh, uh, you know, it's definite fire sign energy that on with it. On with it or oh, on with it or away from it. Make up your mind. I think they just want you to make your mind up. And you could possibly be in a state at this point where, you know what, I... I don't know. Go back up here. Full upright. Ten of Pentacles reversed. For some of you, it's not going so well right now. And you might be ready or contemplating taking that leap. And for some of you, if you take that leap, you think it might be a leap to disaster. So, I don't know. Super strange, but... Hold on. What's the obstacle? Nine of Swords. Somebody's overthinking it. Could be you, Scorpio. This is keeping somebody up at night. Possible resolution. Four of Wands reversed. Potential outcome, Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay, well. Hmm. Okay. A little bit more clarity, please. Why is the Nine of Swords here? One card. Two of Pentacles reversed. Someone's still weighing odds. There's emotional juggling. Possibly because something hasn't come to an end yet. Possibly because someone on the other side, you know what, on with it or away from it. <laughs> Either jump or walk away. Either we're doing this or we're not. Okay. Why is the four of wands reversed here? Possible resolution. Allowing the tower to fall and not being so heartbroken about it. Not allowing it to break your heart or break you. One more on that. Ten of Wands reversed. Definitely lack of closure somewhere involved here. Lack of closure. Still not able to release a burden from something. Could be you. Could be them. Something hasn't ended. Okay. So possible resolution. End your chapters before you start new ones. Okay. Possible outcome at this point. Six of Pentacles reversed. One card. The sun. Okay, well... One more. It's not fair to either party to start something before something else has ended. Because that's just a recipe for disaster. So, sometimes people have to make those difficult choices and acknowledge that a connection just plain is not going to work. Because that allows the sun to shine in both your lives and that allows for the connection to be maintained super strange one more on that nine of swords reversed okay ah uh, sometimes you gotta walk away from something 
and see if it returns to you. Sometimes you got to go down separate paths and see if you meet again. It's like my grandmother always said, if it's meant to be, it'll be. It's all in the divine timing. So. Typically at this point, I would be giving advice from the cards. All right, we'll do it. One card. Devil. Two cards. Moon. Three cards. Queen of Cups reversed. Give me a second. The Devil, the Moon, the Queen of Cups reversed, the Six of Cups reversed, the Empress reversed, and the Page of Wands in the upright. Sometimes a pull and a connection can be so powerful and so strong and you don't understand why. And sometimes these connections come to an abrupt end and you don't understand why. Sometimes cups get spilled, but you can't allow yourself to emotionally close off because all things will come to you in time. But you can't obsess over it because that's not healthy either. And what? Don't look at it from a salty point of view just because it didn't work out if it didn't work out. Because sometimes when things don't sprout and things don't grow the way we want them to, that doesn't mean that it didn't happen the way it was supposed to. And you just have to continue on your path because you go down the road a little bit and then you realize things and then all things are made clear as you proceed upon the journey. Because further down the line on the journey, you find something that is meant to grow. Don't get hung up. Don't lose sleep. And don't... Don't get all tight about making this decision. If you're the one wondering if you should jump or not. Look at it from every possible angle. But don't lose sleep over it either. Go with your instincts. Do what's best for you. Exercise a little bit of healthy selfishness. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Scorpio, I love you guys. Thanks for coming by. Be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your November. I know I am. <laughs> or I'm trying to. In between the lethargia and loss of appetite. Inability to sleep at night. Losing my train of thought. <laughs> It's okay. Because the benefits of this portion of the journey will definitely outweigh the short-term meh. <laughs> Alright, take care.